Ramadan. The different topics that we were able to uh, discuss in the classroom, I mean, from climate change to topics in development, gender studies, and uh, corruption, and all other tropical current affairs um, discussions that are happening in the mainstream media. When you are, when you are doing a, a, a program, you, you need to understand uh, different facets of life, including leadership. Leadership is not only the management, but also self-inquiry in terms of am I f still following the ethical standards for me as a, as a manager, for me as, a, as an executive in government. It shed a light on quite a lot of what is going on in um, South Africa and Africa in terms of economic development, in terms of how our policies are structured, how as us as development agents can um, actually facilitate changes um, to, to some of our, our workplace. Meeting the various lecturers and learning from them about everything that um, has to do with public administration and development as well as ethical leadership. So that has been a very good experience for me. I found the, the lectures to be very helpful. Um, I, I've also been you know, quite enthralled by the, the prospect of meeting uh, uh, different people from different um, um, areas. I'm more than confident that I'm going to go and apply this when I, when I go out. Um, into the world and also, and also within my private space. So. Um, I'm already using a lot of the techniques and tools and things we learn here back into the workplace. And for me, that's the key. You're not just here to, to get theoretical training. It's the practicality of what you get taught here and the tools you get that you can actually apply and apply, not just in your work life, but also in your personal life, in terms of our leadership courses that we do. I mean, ethics is something you practice every week, and that for me is also a standout feature of this program. I think the leadership course for me was really a game changer. It allowed me to position myself better within the team that I worked. I, li I used to manage people, and the two gave me opportunities and gave me insights in which I, could, which that I was able to use to be able to, to grow as a leader, but then also to be able to learn how to manage others. What I also enjoyed about the course was uh, its focus on corruption uh, as an interesting um, subject that uh, was also a, a, a topic of huge debate uh, in Zimbabwe in particular, but also in, across the continent. The impact of it to our daily lives, um, yeah, it, it's something else. But more importantly, outside uh, speaking about corruption and understanding what corruption is in, in the current context. From this program, you are able to learn how to be a good leader, ethical leader, and uh, how to be empathetic uh, to other people, how to manage yourself, how to relate to other people. All this is covered in this program. Fantastic faculty that have been so good in terms of their scholarly knowledge, but at the same time their experience as practitioners. And this has really, really changed my orientation. And the faculty has also been super supportive. So it's been a great experience. When I applied to the school, uh, my interest was really around uh, public integrity and uh, governance. I was looking to move into senior management at that time and I needed a course that would allow me uh, not only to have the theory but also to gain uh, practical experience, especially in leadership. And the Nelson Mandela School of government Governance really did that for me. If you are passionate about changing the lives of those who are less fortunate, if you want your voice to be heard in the policy development um, space, this is a place you want to be. I think just in terms of developing yourself as a public uh, administrator, as somebody who works in a government department, it would just put you in such a good position to actually get to greater levels and to serve countries and, de and government departments and cities in a much better way. It helps you understand the similarities and differences between your own context and others, but also really 
encourages you and challenges you to think very differently about your work. Um, and so I would encourage any public sector official to join the course. And what it's like in practice, you are able to learn from practitioners in the field, you have an opportunity to take a broader view. The course uh, has a lot of learning from South Africa but then also looks beyond the continent of Africa and how we interact with the world. So it really gives you an opportunity to see beyond just your immediate uh, area of responsibility and to see how what you do links in with the broader development agenda of Africa and most countries. Um, you will be taught by some of the finest minds on the African continent and you also get to meet very amazing uh, people who will be part of the class and I think the network that, that you will create is, is invaluable. It has just the right amount of uh, balance between theory and practice and I think it has equipped me to be a great leader. I would encourage any prospective students who want to study at the Nelson Mandela School of Public Governance to take the opportunity to explore that because the program that is offered here at the school is, as I said, multidisciplinary, multifaceted and really unique and dynamic. If that somebody wants to make an impact in their community, and if they want to move away from theory and uh, cross-pollinate ideas with like-minded colleagues that are trying to solve some of the most pressing challenges in the continent, in the world, I think this is the course um, to come to. To other people wanting to do this course, I would say definitely go for it. And from day one, just share all your experiences because it's very val are valuable. Most of our, our classmates come from various African um, countries, so you get to listen to their views on policy development and practices within their countries and how that relates to me, who's, who's based in, in South Africa and hasn't traveled much. Often in an academic program like this, you hear a lot of theory. What this program did was combine that theory with real life experiences. And so being able to hear how people apply these concepts in their work and, you know, get in touch with people that have grappled with similar issues to yours. I think that was my favorite part of the program. Meeting some of the guest lecturers, I just put the, the experiences, the personal experiences, just put such an, an incredible um, spin on to what we were learning about and just gave so much depth into the the course content so that was probably my best part yeah the interactive sessions that we had with the policy experts high level speakers that they brought into the school that uh, engaged in deliberations with us, broaching on current affairs and really interesting uh, topics that were able to not only um, provoke us into critically thinking about the world today and how it operates and works, but also applying it to historical contexts and how we can, I guess, learn from things that have happened in the past today so that we can create transformative and sustainable futures. What stood out was the issue of the implementation side of things, the practicality of what um, a course like this can, can provide to you as a, as a student and as a young professional and as a media professional. It really met my, met my expectation. Uh, in terms of the, of, of the way the course is structured, you know, its flexibility for someone who's working and also even in terms of the depth of the issues and the discussions in the class. I really feel like I'm, I'm a different person after this course. More than my expectation. I have not been in the industry for so long. Um, I came in with very limited experience in terms of policy development and practice. And I believe when I graduate, I will not be the same Bengeni that walked into um, this program a year back. 
uh, my interest was really around uh, public integrity and uh, governance. I was looking to move into senior management at that time and I needed a course that would allow me uh, not only to have the theory but also to gain uh, practical experience especially in leadership and the Nelson Mandela School of Government Governance really did that for me. Um, I find that most of them are focused mostly on South Africa, um, so I, I would want to see more um, coverage from the African continent on different, um, from various regions to see uh, what practices or policy and development are also implemented or practiced in other African regions, uh, just to ensure that uh, the whole coverage and also the values and the um, the mission and vision of the Nelson Mandela School as a Pan-African institution live up to that. Yeah, if I had to do the program again, I would definitely work on stepping out of my shell from day one. Um, because um, after I started doing it, I found a lot of experiencing in the sharing of uh, work experiences, life experiences, very um, valuable. I would definitely would have loved to have le less responsibilities in my first year so that I dedicate uh, myself fully to the program at the Nelson Mandela School.